Hi everyone, it's Miss Lori at Indian Trails Library. Welcome to Growing Our Garden. This is the last program we are going to have with the garden. It's the end of July and things are really starting to pop in our garden. We've harvested a lot of vegetables already and I ran into Joyce Stemp in the garden today and I'd like to show you that video. So here we go. Got the first carrots this evening. Um, have two bags of green beans that I picked, and this is my second picking. I was here the other day and picked also two bags. I have a little bit of broccoli. The, the main heads are gone, but the little side heads come up. Um, I have a, a small cauliflower. This was a tough year for cauliflower because it got so hot early. And I have several cucumbers that nice. I picked tonight. So so what was eating on the leaves of the cauliflowers? Those are a cabbage butterfly larva. The little white butterflies that you see flitting around uh, do that. Uh, the, the beans have June bugs. I mean, uh, Japanese beetles. Oh, That's yeah. what um, is eating them. Oops. Um, pretty much everything in a garden has something that eats it. So... <laughs> How about tomatoes? When do you think we'll get tomatoes? Uh, it's going to be a couple more weeks for tomatoes. They're just starting to come. Okay. We've got a few potatoes. I have some little tiny potatoes over there. I had to cover them up because potatoes grow up and you have to keep mounding up the dirt. Okay. And the beets? The beets are coming. They're not quite there yet. Okay. I picked a little bit of Swiss chard too tonight. Ooh. I have some. I have a bit of nice. Swiss chard. So, be making my run to the food pantry tomorrow morning. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Joyce, for tending to the garden and picking stuff to give to the food pantry. Isn't that great how many vegetables we're harvesting from our garden? Those cucumbers. And if you ever had a garden cucumber, there's nothing like it. You slice that open and just water starts pouring out of it can't get those in the store. <laughs> so garden vegetables are so good and so good for you. Lots of green beans and she said she did dig up a couple potatoes but they were a little small so she's letting them grow a little bit too. And the carrots! Oh my goodness! So exciting things happening in the garden. If you ever stop by the library, go outside to the side of the building and take a look and see how our garden is growing. Okay. So let's get started. If you have your kit, bring out your kit for this program and empty the contents and we'll get started on the crafts. All right, so I thought we would start out with our butterfly ornament because that's gonna be the easier of the two <laughs> to accomplish today. So you need to bring out your sticker sheet. I'll put the instructions aside. So you have your sticker sheet, and then you have one butterfly, two butterflies, and a piece of string. All right. So what you're going to do, first things first, is you're going to take your butterflies, both pieces, and you're going to decorate with the stickers that are on the sheet, both sides. Right, you're going to decorate both sides and then you're going to put them together and I'll show you how. Well, Actually first you're going to find one of them, the one with the antenna has a little hole you can punch out and you put the string through there after you've decorated it and make a little knot on the top and if you need help with that it's okay to ask for help. So make a little knot so we can hang this up. Like that. And then when you want to attach this one, you'll see that there's little slits. And this one at the bottom and this one at the top. So you're going to fit those together. Easier said than done. <laughs> Fit those two slits together. This one 
doesn't fit too good. There you go. So that will be your butterfly, all decorated. And it's three-dimensional. And then I have one that I decorated. All right, both sides. And then I already have my little tie on there, my string. And then if you put them together, there you go. There's your butterfly. Okay, so now we're going to try another craft, a little more challenging. It's a garden wind chime. And you will probably need a little supervision uh, or some help from an adult in the family to complete this project. So the first thing you want to do is gather all your supplies together. So you'll have three pieces of strips of leather. You'll need your paintbrush. You'll need two washers. That's what these are. And then you'll need your bag of beads. You'll need your pot and you'll need your paint. And sometimes it's a little hard to open up each little pot, so you might need help with that also. And then of course you'll need your instructions. So the first thing we want to do is to paint our pot. So get out your paint and your paintbrush and start painting your pot however you would like to paint it. Just the outside and the top. And this is how I painted mine. So I did green around here. I did little flowers, kind of hard to see, <laughs> and a blue background. Right? And I didn't paint the top, but you can paint the top if you want. All right, so after you're done painting, you want to put your pot aside to let it dry. So you can put your pot aside, you can put your paint and your paintbrush away, clean up your brush, and then you'll have your brush to use for a long time. So while that's drying, you want to take out your three strips of leather and your beads. Open up your bead bag. You can take the washers out. And of course, your leather strips were in here too. So we'll open that up so we can start beading. But before you start beading, you want to take one end and you want to put a knot in it. And you may need help with that too, and that's all right. Because we're going to string beads on here and we don't want our beads to fall off. So it's a long piece, but you don't need to put that many beads on. So you just start stringing your beads however you want to do it. And there might be some beads in the bag because there were a lot of beads all mixed up together, some too small um, that won't fit on your leather string. And that's okay, like this one. This one just won't go through. So we're going to just put that one aside and maybe we'll save it for a project that we'll do at home on our own, something different. So when you're done stringing, you're going to make all the beads go down to the knot at the end and we're going to take all three of our beaded pieces of string and put them together so you've got all of them together like this okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a washer and one string at a time, you're going to put through, and then you're going to tie a little knot around here. Again, you might need some help with this. This is why I told you from the beginning, you might need a little supervision. But that's okay. You can do most of it by doing the painting and doing the beading. So there you go. So you're going to tie all of them around there like that. And then it will look like I put a little more beads together on this one. <laughs> all right. So it's going to look like this, where you've got all your beads tied onto one of these washers. So you still have another washer left over. And that's for later. I'll show you. Okay. 
Then you're going to go, and it's in your instructions, you're going to tie a knot with all the strings together about, oh, say two to three inches above the washer. All right? So you got your beads on one end, you got your washer tied together, or you got all the string tied onto the washer, and then you're going to tie a knot with all your string, just like that. That's all you need. All right, so it's going to look like that. And again, that is in your instructions. Then what you're going to do, this is the hard part, <laughs> is to string through here. I'll use my pot that's done. All the ends of your string. Okay, so after you have all your strings pulled through, so from the top, look like this, you have all your strings pulled through, and then it looks like this. That is in there. All right, so then we're going to take, remember the other washer that we have? We're going to take that washer and we're going to string these all through. This you can do. So we're not going to knot it. We're just going to string them all through the hole there. All right. Last string goes through. Okay. Push that down. Well, it looks like that. And then just tie another knot to tie them all together. And again, get some help with this one. This is the hard part. You can do all the decorating and maybe an adult can help you put this together, this part. All right, tie a little knot, that, and then you can hang it, and we are done. And when the wind catches it and it's outside, makes a noise and it goes back and forth. All right, so that is our garden wind chime. Have fun with it, have fun decorating, and remember to get help from a grown-up to, to help you with putting it all together. But it will look so pretty when you're done. That's our garden wind chime. All right, I hope you had fun making your crafts. You'll need a little parental supervision or an adult supervision or to help you put some things together, especially with your wind chime. But I bet you they'll just be beautiful. So uh, this has really been a great program, a great opportunity to have you see the garden, even though we can't be in person. Maybe next year we'll be able to be in person outside and do our program here together at the library. So have a great rest of the summer, and pretty soon school will be starting. I hope you're excited about that. So we'll see you again at the library. Bye for now.